Okay, uh, we're live. How's everybody doing? Hope you have a good weekend. Um, gonna show you basically my, my competition rib or my style of rib that I do. Um, this is the prep work. These are some St. Louis that I got. Basically, I trimmed them up. I trimmed off the chine bones off the top. Uh, I've already taken this, uh, what is that called? Uh, the silver skin or the, God, I just I lost the word right now. But I'm gonna show you, I've, I've already done these two. I've already taken this off. Basically, you wanna take this membrane off. And the way I do it, take a spoon, and you wanna kinda just slide it under there until you get a little lip like that. Because your smoke will not penetrate, and your rubs will not penetrate through this. Take a paper towel, a dry paper towel, and get a hold of that. Take your time, just kind of work it back. And it should come right off. That part of it. There's always people always talking about this membrane. If they should take it off or not, I have always taken it off. And you just kind of grab it with the bigger towel. And it comes off. Just like that. Okay? And then basically, I'm going to show you how to do a rub. Normally I would trim all this off. I trim this fat. Because you don't want anybody biting into a big piece of fat. Um, I use mustard as a binder. You can use olive oil. It doesn't take much. You won't get the mustard flavor either. It'll cook down. You won't taste it. But it holds on to your rubs really good. I'm using suckle busters. I have SPG. I got some hoochie mama. And some comp rub. So just a thin layer. That's all it takes. Basically, it's just a binder. It holds on. It holds your your rubs on there. So you get that good crust that everybody likes. I start off with a base of the SPG salt, pepper, garlic. Don't need a lot. Everybody's gonna start sneezing right now. Every time I use this, we start sneezing. But it's good stuff. <clears throat> Here we go. Get me. <laughs> and people say rub. They call it rub. Don't ever rub because you'll push your spices off to the side. Pat. I like to pat it. <clears throat> okay. The competition rub. You want to get a good coat. All the way around. Sides. This is just layering flavor. And again, pat. Not a rub. What does that mean? What does it mean when they say bring it on camera? Oh, it's people that are joining that you can bring them on oh. to chat with. But they, if anybody has questions while I'm doing this, shout them out. Lil will let me know what you're asking. I'm gonna do two with the comp rub. Then I'm gonna do one Hoochie Mama. Hoochie Mama's got a little bit more of a spice. And as the meat starts to break down, the myoglobin gets released. It'll start, it'll start uh, making like a paste. That's what you want. You normally do this about 24 hours in advance. Let me turn it around so you can see. Okay. Let's do some Gucci Mama. All Sucker Busters today. The kids were supposed to be helping me with this, but they're on their phone, so. And that's pretty much it. Basically, you wrap this up. You want to do both sides, of course. I just use regular plain yellow mustard. You can use olive oil, any kind of cooking oil if you want. Just something that'll hold that rub. 
I use one one hand for shaking, one for the for the rubbing. Okay, you like that one. And then normally what I do is I'll put them in a this the sealer, uh, the plastic sealer that we have. Let them sit in the fridge overnight. Any questions? Do you have a comment on? Mm -hmm. Good morning, Jacob. What's up, Jacob? Jacob Medina. And Brian. Brian. Brian Disney. Brian Disney, they've been doing the, the habanero jalapeno challenge. I bailed out after the jalapenos, it was enough for me. Habaneros are hot. I know it's just like, oh, I forgot to like coat on the salt and pepper on the Say good morning. Mama. Good morning, Henry Ruiz. Good morning, Henry Ruiz. Henry Ruiz from Pepsi. That. <laughs> what temp will your pit be running? 235. I'll be running at 235. <laughs> the meat little down here. <laughs> Kinda hit the sides. with the rub. God. Okay, 2.35 I'll be running. I'll be doing two hours. Uh, two hours in the smoke, probably one hour wrapped. And I'll do the, I'll come back and show you guys the wrap. But this is pretty much it. Um, we're gonna layer on the flavors. We're gonna let it rest for at least four hours before it goes on the smoker. Um, and then I'll come back and do the rest. Okay, we're live, showing the second step. Um, the ribs have gotten the color out two hours in the smoke, so we've gotten that mahogany red color that we're looking for. So I'm gonna show you how we do this wrap. Basically, melted butter, brown sugar, and honey. What I do is spread your butter. Basically brown sugar. This is gonna make the caramelization. It's gonna give you that sweet flavor on the outside. Honey. This is a, this is gonna be a braising process. It's gonna cook that sugar and make your meat tender. And I always go meat side down. Tightly. Did you want to seal that? It's going to cook that sugar. It's going to cook into a liquid. Meat side down, bone side up. I did all three racks. Um, going back on the smoker now for at least an hour. And that's pretty much it. I'll take them off. I forgot to show also there's, you see the, the meat recessing from the bone? That's what you're looking for, the pullback. Um, these got the right color, that's where I wanted them. So now they're going back on the smoker for at least an hour, kind of braise in that liquid, and we'll take them up and we'll be back. Because they're showing live. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm unwrapping these now. They've been in there for an hour, hour and a half. See the pull back on here? How they're, it's starting to pull back from the bone. The recess here. Um, this is the, ca the caramelization I was talking about. You see that glaze that's on there? So basically I've already unwrapped those two. I'm going to unwrap this one. 
And you see that's our liquid that we were talking about, the braising liquid? See how the, the meat is pulling away from the bone? And if I can do this without burning myself, that's the caramelization we were talking about. So these are now wet. They, they're tender as can be. What I want to do now is put them back on the smoker. You see how this bone's coming off right here? I want to put these back on the smoker to dry out the outside of this. Give it that little cut crust caramelization of it. Um, and then I'll also add a sauce probably about 20, 30 minutes before I take them off. So we're probably going back on the smoker maybe 30, 40 minutes, okay? Uh, in about 20, 30 minutes as this outside dries out and I get that crust that I'm looking for, that's when I'll go ahead and put a sauce on. A sauce maybe about 10 or 15 minutes to, to set to where it, it adheres to it. But these are looking really good. This one's got a little dark crust to it, if you can see. Um, it's not burnt, that's just the caramelization of the sugar and the honey. Um, these ribs are looking really, really good. So basically, that's what you're looking for, that pullback that everybody wants. That tells you that they're to the point where they're just about done, but now I just want to set them, dry them out a little bit, get that little bit of a crunch crust on it, and then I'll put a good sauce on it. So we'll come back to that. And looking good, so thank you. Um, hope these come out good. I'll let you know as soon as, as, soon as they come off, I'll come back live. Uh, we'll cut them and we'll all taste them and give honest opinions. All right, we're back. We're live. Just wanted to uh, show you these ribs that are off now. Got a little sauce uh, set on them. Great color. This was the one that was a little bit done already, overdone, but got some good color to it. Great flavor. Very, very tender. Um, let's see if you can. Got a little nice little smoke ring on it. But uh, these these were a little bit less uh, over less done, I guess. So maybe that was a, I think that one was a thinner a thinner rack. So we're already into it. Um, I did want to talk about the sauce that I, I did sauce these with, and it's from Mr. Dan Wright from Wright Barbecue Company. Um, this is the peach chipotle. It's got a nice sweet flavor, not hot at all. Um, but just a just a hint of the chipotle Really good sauce. So if you guys uh, check him out. This sauce is really good on ribs um, I didn't have any circle busters peach sauce, but I did use the uh, I did use the right peach chipotle today, so uh, Came out really good there as you can see everybody's we're digging into them already, but uh, good flavor came out really well They came out good so I'm gonna cut these up, and you see how they, they did dry out. I put the sauce, I put one layer of sauce on it, and then uh, I used, uh, I, I let it sit on there about 15 minutes just to set it, so you don't have those wet, drippy, you know, wet, drippy sauce. Oops. But yeah, you can, uh, I always put sauce on the side so people can add to it. Jeff Allen's here, what do you think, Jeff? How'd I do? They're, they're, they're really tasty, maybe a little bit overdone because they are kind of falling out the bone a little bit, but as you see, that bone's falling out of there. But um, just have to adjust my times. Great smoke flavor, not a, not a hard, harsh smoke, but uh, the cherry did a nice color on it, great color, I, I think. A um, little bit overdone, so I'll, I'll cut my time down next time, cut it down, uh, actually cut my wrap time down. I left them in the wrap a little bit long. Uh, use, I went an hour and a half, so I, I meant to go about an hour fifteen or so. But, but yeah, they're uh, they're tasty. I've already knocked one out. Good flavor. Didn't get a big smoke ring on it, but the smoke flavor is there. I didn't use a real harsh smoke, but uh, really good stuff. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what everybody else thinks, but. That's them. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope I hope it helped as far as your smoke, your ribs go. Uh, let me know what you do different because I, I like to change things up and try new stuff. So you guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon.